This uh, memorial just being inaugurated uh, in uh, Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. This is the Kalam uh, Memorial uh, in tribute uh, to the People's uh, President, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Uh, but uh, Shrinjo, if you are with us uh, still, uh, take us through what exactly will be uh, the Prime Minister's itinerary through the day. Uh, there were initial problems vis-à-vis -vis the acquisition of the land. There were people who were not very happy. Uh, all that has been sorted out because this was done at uh, in a way that uh, it it was felt that President Kalam deserved a memorial of this kind, which is why special uh, projects uh, were done uh, to ensure that this happened. The most important thing, of course, is Prime Minister's presence. It's another way of saying that, look, uh, president Kalam was not just president. Uh, of course, he was president of India, and every president deserves that kind of uh, uh, that kind of position. But Kalam was different in another way. One, of course, for his contribution mm. as a scientist, and the other, he has changed the presidency. It is president is no longer a distant figure who stays in Rashtrapati Bhavan and is seen and not heard. Kalam made it very clear mm. that he would reach out to people. He would reach out to 75% of India, that is really young India, and think about them. Kalam's books are widely read uh, by young people, which is why Kalam is in some ways a very special figure. And Prime Minister, by going to Rameshwaram, by raising the national flag, by meeting his relatives, is paying tribute. Because Kalam's life was in a sense a selfless life. He had no family. His country, all the children of his of India were his family. All the people of his, India were his family. And that is something that Prime Minister, the government of India, and has not really forgotten. It has to be said that Kalam reached out to the people of India in a way that changed the presidency of India. There has never been a Kalam, there has never been a president like Kalam before that.